everybody and welcome to Jazz Piano Short Practice Ideas. Today we are going to jump right in with a quick little practice uh, concept that you can work on this week and hopefully you can apply to all sorts of situations, uh, tunes, and all throughout your improv. We are going to learn what we're going to call the second 2-5-1 lick. All right, let's check it out. So today's lick, we're going to play in the key of G. So we're going to be playing a 2-5-1 in the key of G, A minor to D7 to G major. Our voicings are going to be an A minor in closed position, G, B, C, E, to a D7, F sharp, C, E, right here. And then we're going to drag those top fingers down, F sharp, A, B, D, for our G major chord. We're going to give two beats to each, the two and the five chord, and we're going to resolve on the one chord. Two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the lick in the right hand is going to start on the six. So you can find that quickly and easily by, by thinking about what a minor, A minor triad would be, noticing that the top note will be the five, and then we're up a whole step and we've got the six right there. Um, we could also think a minor third down from the root. So we're gonna start on that note and it's like a lower approach. And then I'm coming down notes of an A minor seven chord, including the nine, all right? So that's where I change to my D seven chord. So that ends up being the 13 on the D chord. But I'm really, when I'm gonna be learning this lick and practicing transposing it, I'm really trying to see this over an A minor. That's an A minor seven with the nine in there, lower approach. Come down the A minor seven, lower neighbor, and then resolve to the D chord, all right? Now there, I changed my chord at a different time and it still works, right? So here's the lick. Now when I resolve to that D and I'm on the G chord, I'm resolving to the fifth. Okay, so to, to get this going through the different keys, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the six, now I'm gonna outline the two chord and then use a lower neighbor. So when I go to a D minor, to G7, to C major in the key of C, I go to D, I'm looking for the six, B, the outline a D minor chord, lower neighbor, and resolve on the fifth of the major chord. All right, take that, learn that. Uh, I hope you have fun practicing that and we're slowly gonna be adding videos to our uh, vocabulary playlist. So this is uh, the second one. Make sure you go check out the first 251 lick if you haven't uh, scoped that out already and I'll be in touch with you all very soon. Happy practicing.